Bill Murphy for Maglite Flashlights. We're at the Tactical Training Center at Rahagas in Norco, California, and we're going over some of the products we use. They have a tactical application, but they're also a utility light too. Well, this is a line that's come out, the Spectrum series. We refer to them as the Magnum Spectrum because the amount of light that they throw out is pretty high for, for LED lights of color. Here are the Solitaire, you see it in red. It does a great job for protecting night vision, for being able to read things like maps and stuff like that because it doesn't bleach it out, it doesn't reflect back off of it. A lot of times when you don't want to give away your position, the red's a low output that we can go ahead and use tactically. We're going to come into the XL50 series. It's got a lot more power right in through here. Green is five times brighter to the eye than any other color. And so what happens, a lot of times animals won't pick up the green. So if you're out hunting, you're using this as a light for movement, things like that, it allows you to see at a further distance. Also, if you had to be rescued, is that it's five times brighter to the rescuers. And so there's a greater chance they're gonna see this color. Over here with the blue, it gives us details. It doesn't wash things out, but it allows us to be able to see things clearly. So here, if I take my mini mag in soft light, is it's kind of a warm light. So it allows us to see more in the color spectrum. Electricians like to use this because they can see the different wires and the different colors, where red might blend those together a lot better. So all of these come in a soft, warm light also, so that we can pick out fine detail and do a number of different things. I tell you, this has been mine for a lot of years, and I use it, and I enjoy it, and I always have it with me, and they all come with a lanyard. So this way I can go ahead and retain it, be able to hook it to things, and so you're only limited by your imagination. It only takes one AAA battery. So you know, whatever your need is, whatever your desire for lighting, we make it, we have it, and it's available to you. Hey guys, we're gonna come in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use LED light to get set up to breach this door. So I'd come on up and I would come a foot down from the top and that would be a hinge, I'd blow that hinge. I'd blow the hinge in the middle, about two and a half feet down, then I'd come a foot up on the ground below that hinge, and then I would work that hinge right there to be able to get in through this door. Now, I'm not broadcasting the light downrange. I'm not going ahead and letting light go through the cracks or underneath the doors. The red is a soft light and it protects my night vision. So green light is powerful, it's strong, it travels a lot of distance, but it's not gonna give away my position as much as the white will going underneath doors. And if I shine it in your eyes, it's still gonna have a pretty significant effect. So when in doubt, go green. I like this on my weapons lights as an LED in addition to my white light so that I don't have to put out as much white light, but I can see very clearly with the green. Blue LED does something special. It allows us to track bodily fluids. So if I'm coming up here, I can go ahead and I can track the blood from this bad guy that's bleeding. So he didn't go in this door because there's no blood trail, but I can come on down. Now, if I'm going in this door looking for this guy, then I better have some protection with me because I'm watching the blood and then he might be laying in wait. So we'll come on up here, we'll get set, we'll go in and get this guy because the blood trail didn't come back out, so it's only going in. So what happens is we got pretty good ID he's in here. We're still going to be aware of everything else, but the blue didn't give us away moving through the building. It's a very soft blue and it's a low output.